Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube Astrological segment, I'm going to be uh, talking about giving a review of Del Horoscope magazine. And yes, uh, I really do uh, like Del Horoscope magazine. I've been reading it on and off for a number of years, for about 30 years uh, right now, since the mid-1980s. And for all these years that I've read, been reading it on and off, I see a lot of provocative, insightful articles, very compelling. It goes very deep into a wide divergence of astrological subjects. And really, I mean, this was around, I don't know when this came out, but obviously it has been around since the mid 1980s, since that's when I last read it. And really, uh, it, it, it talks about many different things. They have celebrity horoscopes in there, and on the uh, they have an online daily forecast and, and basic info pertaining uh, to each sign in a reader forum uh, as well. And the price is, is not bad. It's one year subscription. When I went online to their website, which of course is dellhoroscope.com, the one year subscription when I saw it was listed as thirty four dollars and ninety seven cents for a year, which comes to about two ninety one per issue. I don't know what the newsstand uh, price is. Unfortunately, I have not seen any in my area. I really in my my maybe time for me to get a subscription soon because I have not seen it at any of this, my local stores uh, in recent time for at least a year, if not maybe a couple. Of years so uh, the thing about this is is that this is really it, it talks about a wide divergence of astrology matter and it's good for people whether they have rudimentary knowledge of the subject whether it's fundamental knowledge or intermediate knowledge or whether it's for advanced people there's always something in there I think somebody uh, can learn because the astrology there's so many nuances to it and there's so many things to learn even the people that feel their knowledge is so profuse the knowledge I think is limitless and it's infinite it can go on and on. that's part of the reason why I have been so enamored and infatuated with, with astrology for over 30 years because it just the things you can learn are innumerable and I just love to keep assimilating more and more knowledge I guess that maybe that's the Gemini moon may be coming out in me but anyway I think what I also like is that okay uh, what what they're going to what they have in the issues as well they give daily forecasts and very extensive uh, detail oriented answers to pertinent astrological questions or I should say questions that people submit that are pertaining to astrology in many cases their own charts I guess presumably relationships or what have you and also, uh, Del Horoscope gives critiques and reviews on astrology products and books. So that's another thing that is interesting uh, about this. And every issue has a one-year forecast for that for, for that zodiac sign that corresponds with that uh, particular month. Now, in the the newest issue, the March issue, there's going to be there's something about. Uh, an article about renowned psychic uh, Edgar Casey, who is a son in Pisces. So, really, this is something where, as far as magazines go for astrology, this has to be one of the more prominent and better ones. I think there were some other magazines that became outdated, but I thank the stars above that Del Horoscope is still around because it's a magazine of course I could obtain and I could still uh, get more get, get a lot of uh, strong profound um, insights and, and information uh, from this magazine and really it's somebody if anybody out there is very strongly interested in astrology I do recommend that they that they read this magazine and uh, and it's something really it's something for uh, for all levels of, of astrology whether like I said before whether you're a charlatan an intermediate level or or you're at a professional or advanced level now there's also um, there's going to be also an article in that March issue uh, about the 12 zodiac signs which goes uh, well beyond the superficial traits and what role 
each one can very well play in the collective evolution as we make the transition from the age of Pisces into the age of Aquarius. So I think that sounds something that could be really uh, thought provoking and something to look forward to for people that want to pick up that issue. And uh, really, th that's basically what I wanted to say about this. And the uh, thing about it is Del Horoscope, I hope it does stay around for a while because it seems like it's one of the really few really good astrology magazines that, that are still around. I think there was one, I don't know if American astrology is still, and I think that might be gone. There was something called Astrology Your Daily Horoscope that I think might be out, outdated because I think I had subscriptions to American astrology and, and the Astrology Your Daily Horoscope. I think they both might be out, but you'd have to verify online and, and check that. But, um, but at least Del Horoscope, has remained intact and is still uh, and is still available to be purchased and and Del Horoscope could be something that I could be interested in till till my the day I die. As long as my love for astrology is there, the interest in Del Horoscope would obviously be there as well. Well anyway people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment on the, my review of Del Horoscope and yes I do give it five stars out of five possible stars. Stay tuned next time where I'll be continuing uh, my series on uh, compatibility between the zodiac signs. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.